hello hello welcome back to another thrift trip with me i am cat this is Cat's treasure hunting i'm also known as the nurse flipper if you do not know we are at the sanctuary thrift in homosassa florida i haven't been here in about three months i just finished going to two thrift stores if you missed the last two videos definitely check those out found some amazing stuff and i'm hoping to find stuff here as well so let's go so this store is pretty big haven't been here in a while they always have some seasonal there at the front i know i always i always need a buggy so we are definitely going to grab us a buggy here first and see what we can find and it looks like they have beach stuff it is getting ready to be beach time here in florida last time somebody said it was always time in beach to go to the beach in florida but it was in the 30s here last week so it is not in fact always time to go to the beach now i have found a few good purses here but nothing was really catching my eye there but i do always look through the purses and i also look through the scarves and the handkerchiefs now with these bandanas if you don't know the ones that say made in the usa typically will sell for 12 to 15 dollars pretty fast some colors will sell for more but unfortunately these it looks like are all marked made in china so we we are going to have to leave these behind all all made in china so no no go this time but i always look because they sell very very fast and we're also going to take a look at the shoes again the ladies clothes are on the left i am not a ladies clothes shopper but i always look however look at the first thing we see keen sandals for six dollars keens are very very good shoes and they typically will sell for 35 to 45 dollars so I always pick up Keens if they are under about that $10 mark. And I'm not great with identifying the dress shoes, but I do notice more of like the athletic and water shoes. That last one I was thinking might have been Keens as well, but they were a generic brand. And here on the back wall, if you watch me for any time, you know I absolutely love checking out for pajamas and vintage nightgowns because they are great profit makers now this here is a vintage robe but that color wasn't overly appealing to me so i do pay attention to colors when i am deciding if i am getting them and they have quite a bit of vintage nightwear here now this one here is a barbazon it's four dollars it is a two-piece set with the shirt and pants and i think that is a great pickup beautiful flowers on that one so definitely going to pick it up i don't pick up a ton of sleep pants because those don't do as well but sometimes if there are some specialty ones i will now this green this robe is a much much better color that one's only three and definitely going to pick that up that one should be about 30 to 40 dollars so definitely check out the robes the house coach your typical moo moo type things sell well and depending on the brand they sell for a lot now their scrubs here were five dollars which is a little more than i like to pay i typically like to get them for under four because they only go for about 12 to 15 so i didn't pick up any scrubs and we're going to move on and check out the men's side of the shoes they the women's flow around the men's but this is this side is mostly men's shoes and we're going to see if we can see anything here and sometimes their shoes are priced very well and sometimes they're 
isn't a lot of room on them so i always do check them these new balance were really really nice and they were size 13 they were eight dollars i probably should have picked those up i ended up leaving them let me know if you know i think those were new balance golf shoes and i was checking for slippers for dalton or little tinny shoes but those were a little bit too small for him now this store also as well as a couple of my other ones has dollar clothing which is a great great money maker even if you only sell it at 10 to 15 so if you don't have a thrift store at that dollar point definitely check yard sales because a lot of people at yard sales still will do a dollar so i always peruse through the t-shirts and the polos and it's kind of hit or miss and i typically will either find a lot or i will find none and here i am not seeing a ton that is overly impressive and i'll look for bright patterns i also look for vintage single stitch shirts but i'm not seeing many now the hats are here up top this is a wilson staff i did not get that one we gotta we gotta fix the clothes on the hanger can't knock the clothes off so let's see if there's anything else so we might just strike it out you do not always find things at the thrift store and you don't always find the same things so that's why i think it's important to learn different types of things now this university of kentucky hat it was four if it had been two dollars i would have picked it up because i think it would probably sell for around that twelve dollar mark now this one here does still have the sticker on it that was stanley cup so we are going to pick that one up and let's see if we see anything else i'm not overly impressed again with the shirts here today and that that happens i think last time i was here i found a ton of shirts and i do need to go back this thrift store does 50 percent off the whole store on the first tuesday of the month so if you live in this area definitely check that out i like that polo but i saw a couple of pulls on it so we are gonna leave that as well and we'll wrap around here look at the hats on the other side and also see if we see any jeans as well and the jeans in this section are also only a dollar look at all this tile if you were remodeling your house this store would be a perfect place to go they have supplies and they also have a ton of furniture in here so if you're remodeling this is a great great store and it looks like somebody donated a ton of hats because normally there are not that many hats here but today there are a lot of hats and there were no jeans that caught my eye no jeans we did find one hat let's see if we can find us another hat and it looks like a lot of them they priced it for this one has a ton of damage so again if a lot of these had been priced at two i would have picked them up but at four dollars it doesn't leave a lot of room after you pay your fees so let's let's see if there's any more down here i that was a new york one but i'm not sure if it was a sports one or just a new york hat now here this one caught my eye this one is a barracuda marine batteries so that one i am going to grab because a lot of people really really like their products they use for boating and they will buy those hats and that one was only two dollars as well all right we i think are gonna move on i got that one that was more as a hand tool 150 year anniversary so i decided i'll try it i'm not sure what the brand but i figured we would give it a go and the store is really really massive if you can see here look at how big and there's another room in the back so here are their toys again i don't i don't look at the toys a ton but we are gonna see what they have now that little doc mcstuffin 
kitchen, I think would have been good, but it was very, very big. Now, here, all right. Now, here they typically have normally more name brand jackets, and we're going to see if we see anything. And I do check this section. This is almost like their boutique, but they're still only three to five dollars. They're not horrible. This one's really, really pretty. It was only three and it is IE relaxed. I, again, I'm not good with women, women's brands. So I'm not sure if I should get this. I'm going to put it back. Tell me, tell me if my instinct of pulling that off the rack was correct and I should have got it or if I was right to put it back, because I, I just simply do not know them. Now, here on the back wall, they always have some amazing trinkets. A lot of this stuff is priced higher from what I've seen if it's on the back wall. What is this thing? Can somebody tell me what, what, what is this thing? I have, I have no idea what that thing is. Dalton doesn't know what that thing is either. Let's see what we see. Look at this cute little puppy. If there had been a set of these, it's a little salt or pepper shaker, I would have got them. But there was only, only one. So we're going to leave it. But what? look at this. This is a tiny quail egg. If you don't know, quail lay itty bitty eggs. We used to raise them. And this one has a nativity scene inside of it for only $4. So I had to get that. I can imagine the time and effort it took to put a nativity scene inside of a little quail egg. Now, up top, I'm turning over a Disney snow globe. It was priced at 130 but I don't think that it was worth it for me to resell. It probably was spot on as far as price. Now, these cute little touchdown eagles babies they had 25 dollars on them i did not look them up but i feel like that was probably about where they'd sell at now this is a little vintage praying madonna really really nice frame and this was only a dollar i do very very well with miniatures especially religious theme miniatures those have been absolutely great sellers for me and some at high prices so I did get that. Now these are all little miniature motorcycles. They were $5 each and I was trying to see if I could see a name, but I didn't. So I did decide to leave those there. And then there was that cool carved onyx vase, but that one was a $4 and it was just a little too small and a little too plain for me to pick it up. And you can see they've got this lighthouse collection here. Let's see what else we see. Now, down in the bottom, this is a little welcome garden flag with cactuses. Super cute, kind of on a burlap sack. And this one was $2, so we're going to get that one for sure. And I want to check here and see if there are any others. If I can pick flags up for a dollar to two, I typically will do so because they sell for about ten dollars and this is a cute little serving tray little tea set but that one was not marked and that would be very very hard to ship so we're gonna leave that there and we'll move on over here to the craft section and they have a ton of crafts now here straight in front of me i see these quilted these are turkey pillow little panels to make turkey pillows but i think they were four dollars and they'll only sell for about nine or ten so we are gonna leave those there and you know i've been doing resin so i'm just kind of peeking to see if i see anything i can use with my resin stuff but i did not see anything and look at all the furniture here they have absolutely wonderful furniture at this store so again if you need furniture definitely check them out look at all of the dining sets that they have tons and tons of dining sets and always when you have stores that display stuff like this look on those displays because a lot of times they will put some of their nicer pieces on 
the display shelves of the furniture that they're selling to try and make it look more appealing and over here this lobster and crab bucket is kind of catching my eye and also this cute little coaster but it was a single so I'm gonna leave it there now here this one's crate and barrel really cute for like lobster bisque or like a clam soup but it was fifty dollars for the set so I think that was a little bit more than I would want to pay if I was picking it up for resale but I think if you were getting it for yourself that would have been a good deal and look at the, that piece of driftwood was really cool now this is a Lena Lou and it was eight dollars but no top now if it had the top I really would have considered it because Lena Lou sells very well and actually at the last store I was at I picked up a Lena Lou beautiful beautiful teacup set with the display holder and as always if you see something that I am not catching my eye is not catching definitely let me know because when I go back perhaps it will still be there and if not I will know to look for that type of item in the future now look at this gorgeous this is an Alaska chopper with a wood stand that was four dollars and I think that was a great buy I think it'll probably go for about 25 to 30 and if you do not know vintage medical supplies can bring big money this is Rhina Tan, which is not a name I'm familiar with. So I'm pretty sure this is vintage. If you don't know, I am a registered nurse. And this is at least 20 years old. Now, I also, my nurse flipper channel, Dolphins is kind of my theme. And I saw this little trinket box with the mama and baby dolphin. And I did pick this one up. This one did already sell on Whatnot, so it is not available anymore absolutely cute cute trinket box if i find smaller stuff or jewelry while i'm thrifting i do typically put that over on my whatnot channel now in my area when i say my area this is about an hour away from my house this is probably the store with the most trinkets now this brighton 10 box was only a quarter and believe it or not those empty will still sell for about eight to twelve dollars so definitely keep an eye out for those and that little butter plate was cute but with the yellows there weren't any bright blues or greens i decided that i would leave that behind and there are tons and tons of trinkets here cute little doll there and let's see what else we see look at this alaska totem pole box three dollars that one i think we'll get it i think we'll get that i think it'll go for about probably 15 to 20 and this rose felt very very well made it was very heavy but it was six dollars and i think that one's probably only about 15 to twenty dollars so let's see what else we see look at all the seashells in florida you always see seashells i am interested if those of you not in florida see seashells everywhere like i do as well or if that is just a florida thing and you can see here this is electronics i probably should look in that a little more but that's another category i tend to stay away from so mainly mainly because a lot of returns and checking to see if things work is just not something i want to do plus a lot of electronics are super heavy and you can make a really really good living just selling electronics if you're into testing them and you're okay packing those bigger heavier items now here is mostly candles and the lady there is looking there are a bunch of dog clothes super super cute dog clothes and here are baby clothes i don't do a ton of baby stuff i sometimes will get some baby blankets but i don't typically do clothes and if you don't know vintage diapers can sell for big money as well all right, now we're going to check out the pillows and the blankets. I didn't see any pillows there today, 
But look at these cute little, these are handmade little Mickey Mouse crib blankets with little fringes. These are super, super cute with the black and the red. And there are actually two of them. There's another one down there. Looks like it's in great shape. It's got flannel on the back. And I think they are selling these two as a set. Yes, so the set of two for six. So only $3 each. So we're definitely going to pick those two up. I don't know, maybe there were twins. A lot of times when I find two of the same blankets, it came from twins. So let's see. This was a shower curtain. And don't neglect the shower curtain. Some shower curtains can sell for good money. I've sold ones with like a Western theme as well as like a Hawaiian theme. That cherry's tablecloth was super cute, but had a really, really big stain. And look, I picked up one electronic one. Okay, so this phone sanitizer here, it's kind of funny. I made hundreds of dollars off of phone soaps at the beginning of COVID, but I don't think they are as popular now. Now, this beach towel is eight, but this is a really big vintage ocean Pacific towel. And I think this one is worth picking up it is a very big it's got the bright pinks and blues some of them can sell for 30 to 40 so i am going to pick that one up and let's see what else if we can see and you see i'm looking at tags because i'm trying to see if there are any known names now this is a batman towel and dalton my four-year-old is obsessed with batman so we are getting that for mr dalton and he, I'm sure, will absolutely love it. And that was a Ralph Lauren towel, but there was only one. So with plain towels, I like to try and find at least two. But these pillowcases are flannel. These are super cute, but I think we'll leave those. Now, this towel was three. It says Big Bird Towel but it almost had like a blanket edging so i wasn't really sure about that so i did leave it there i don't like to take apart the towels or blankets when they're wrapped up like that uh, and make a mess it, it can be frustrating it's almost like a lottery ticket when you pick that stuff up because you don't know if there are stains or rips or holes or anything like that in them but i would rather take a chance on them than open them up and mess them up at the thrift store now this is a really cute little elephant set but they had it at ten dollars and it probably would only sell for about 25 and that mickey mouse one same thing a lot of the kids sets will only sell for about 25 to 30. the exception to that is if you find pottery barn pottery barn kids stuff can sell pretty high and that little quilt is cute, but it was baseball. And I'm not sure that that one would sell well. And I like this one, but I wasn't familiar with that brand. So I did decide to leave that one there. But what is this? Bright yellow. I'm not sure what exactly that was. And some transformer sheets, but those looked more modern. And this is a fleece Kentucky throw, but I believe they had that one at six, which probably only sell for about 20. However, this is a really big, really nice blanket. It does have a kitty cat if you see the whiskers there. And this is a beater lac. If you do not know, beater lac blankets do sell. This one should go for about $35. And beater lac sells very, very well. So keep your eye out for beater lac. And I would always look at the tapestries, but those look like they were a little newer. I do tend to like the vintage tapestries just a little better. Now look at this. Classic McCoy cookie jar there's your mccoy this one was 15 some mccoy cookie jars sell for a lot this one i looked it up it only goes for about 35 to 40 and with paying 15 and having to ship it it just was not worth it i do love the southwestern plate but it was six dollars that's just a little more 
then I would want to pay for that. Now, let's see what else we can find. There are buggies everywhere. Not sure where the people are that belong to the buggies. Now, here is some Harley Davidson, but I think it was like these hurricane glasses. And this mug was six. Would probably sell for 20, but again, a big breakable and it did have some scratches there. So I did decide to leave that one there. And now back here in this room, there is a lot of breakable items and your kitchen items as well. Now this is a, I think that's a Detroit coffee mug, but their coffee mugs here, I think are two to three. I really only like to pick up coffee mugs mostly at a dollar unless they are overly impressive. However, none of those really caught my eye. So let's go into this room and see what we can find in here. Now, these mugs with the cobalt blue on top are really, really cute, but they were two each and they were not branded. So I decided to leave those. Now, this is a Turvis tumbler, only a dollar. I've said it before, Turvis offers a lifetime guarantee. So you can send those back in and get a new one if there are any issues with them. So I tend to pick those up if they're under $3 and you can see they've got tons of pots and pans in here and I absolutely love this platter. It is made in Turkey, but it was $25. 25 is just, honestly, it would probably sell for about 40. So I, I can't do 25 even though I absolutely love that beautiful, beautiful plate. And I always check out the coasters. I have done well with coasters as well. That one only had three in the set. I do try to get either sets of two or four when I'm getting coasters. Now, this cup with the blue swirl, I think I like for me. If you do not know, I love the ocean. So I think I will get this stainless steel tumbler for myself. Let's see if we see anything else. another stainless steel but that one didn't have the lid so we are going to leave that one there and I always I always look at the tumblers because Tivana does well Starbucks does well speaking of here's a Starbucks but this one had that dent there so I think we're going to leave it. Uh, typically your Starbucks mug collectors want them in pretty good condition. And that dent would probably be a no-go for most collectors. And I think that one also did not have a lid. There's just so much stuff if you see. And lots and lots of stuff. Now my daughter has been looking for a new tea pitcher for the house and this one was only a dollar so oh two dollars two dollars two dollars but still cheaper than we would get it in any other store so we're gonna grab that for brooke and bring it home now these pyrex the small one was two some of the bigger pyrex measuring cups sell for about the 15 to 20 dollar mark but again, you get into shipping a big breakable and if it's really worth it for about $10 of profit after fees. So I did decide to leave that one there. And they always have a ton of vases and they are typically mass produced. But one day maybe I will find a nice vase in here. So I always look every single time I check, but there was nothing there again. And tons of clear crystal here. Tons and tons of clear crystal. And I am not typically drawn to the clear crystal. Now these cups are cute. I think somebody handmade them. They had $2 each. And they were not made very well. And they were all, I think, Weimaraners. So very specific audience. And I don't know that Weimaraners are overly popular i think if it had been like labs or retriever something that i see a little bit more i would have considered getting those 
And let's see. Look at this empty liquor bottle. Pretty cool Chambord bottle. Not sure if that would have been worth picking up. Some empty liquor bottles can sell. All right. Now we are heading out. And this is, I believe, a Johnson Brothers. Oh, no, it's a Myatt. This one is a Myatt Royal Mel. But it was only, it was $8. So not much room for profit. But look what I found. Only $4. It's a matching turkey plate. But it's only 4 So we're going to get this one. Because the big one was marked too high. But that one was not. Let's see if we see anything else down here. I'm going to put that up top. All right. So I think we are about done here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'm going to come and talk to you for just a minute. And then I will show you my haul of everything I got at this store. Thank you for watching. I will see you here in just a second. All right, so we didn't do horrible in there. I got a Beaterlac blanket. I found Dalton a Batman blanket. Brooke needed a new tea canister. So let's take a look and recap. I got I got some cool stuff. Let's take a look. All right, so we didn't get a ton here, but we did get some some nice stuff. So first up, this is a vintage Raining Beauty house coat. This one I paid three. I think I should be able to get 25 to 30. It does have some wear on one of the sleeves. And then this is a gorgeous, oh, I love you too, Dalton. Gorgeous Barbizon size medium shirt and pants set. This one I paid for. This one should go for about 30. I got two Mickey Mouse hand quilted uh, crib blankets. I paid six for both, so three each. I am going to list those separately, probably about 25 to 30. And then this is a big oh. one is a beater lack of America made in Germany. This one I paid eight. I think this one will go for 40 to $50. Beater lack is a good brand to pick up. This is a giant vintage ocean Pacific towel. This one I did pay eight, but I think I can get 40 to 50 for that one. And this is a really cute, simply Southern uh, sweater size extra small but look at the back embroidered really really cute one that one four I should be able to get 25 this little welcome flag on a burlap sack with the cactuses I think I'm going to keep this one for myself the Detroit Pistons is a Tervis tumbler this one should go for about 12 this one I think I'm going to keep too because of the ocean look. This one I paid a dollar, but I think I'll keep this one. I think somebody did this over a plain one. And then for myself too. These I got for me. And then I got this cute little dolphin trinket box. This one was two. It should go for 15 to 20 This, um, I believe this is Mother Mary. This one should go for 30 to 40 This is a beautiful plate. This one was made in Turkey. This one I paid for. It should go for about 30. It looks kind of like a peacock. And then I got this Klein Tools and Stanley Cup Champions hats. Those were two each. They should go for 15 to 20. These Brighton boxes. So I only paid a quarter for this, but it should sell for seven to 12. I got this Alaska totem pole box for three. This one should go for 20 to 25 vintage nike pencil bag that one should go for 10 to 15. this is really cool it's a chopper that says alaska and has the bear with the holder this one i paid what did i pay i paid four that one should go probably for 25 to 30. and then this barracuda hat should go for about 15. i paid two look at how cute this little quail egg has a nativity set in it paid four for this one i think that one should go for 25 to 30. keen sandals in excellent excellent condition look at the bottom of these i only paid six these should go for 35 to 40. this vintage rhinotan tablet it's a giant paperclip note holder it's not been listed anywhere i looked on worth point i'm probably going to try and get 50 dollars for that and I also got Dalton this little sandcastle bucket, so that is for him. So not a ton, but some good pickups. If you're interested in buying any of this, email me, 
your offer, what the item is, your mailing address, and your PayPal email to the nurse flipper at yahoo.com. I appreciate you guys watching. I will see you on the next one.